Now let's cover the assessments of cranial nerves 5 and 7. As assessment goes to the far corners of the earth to escape some irksome brain stems. Cranial nerve 5 is known as the trigeminal nerve. Remember this is the brain stem grabbing a 5 face with 3 gems. Cranial nerve 5 can be assessed in two ways. The first method is to assess the temporal and mass eater muscles. Represented here as assess man assessing the temple and massive eater with muscles. To test the temporal and mass eater muscles, place your fingers against the person's temple and get them to clench their teeth. Then place your fingers against the mass eater muscles and get them to clench their teeth again. The muscles should be equal bilaterally. The second method to assess the trigeminal nerve is to evaluate the light touch sensation. Shown here as assess man using a light bulb to touch a face. In real practice, use a cotton wisp against a person's forehead, cheeks, and chin bilaterally and with their eyes closed. Ask the person to say now whenever they feel touch. This tests ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular nerves. Decreased or unequal sensation may be noted with a stroke. Asking the patient to open their mouth and move their jaw side to side is another way to check nerve function. Cranial nerve 7 is the facial nerve, represented here as the brainstem with the face lotion dispenser in the shape of a 7. To assess this nerve, simply note the mobility and facial symmetry. This assessment can be recalled by the mobile phone and facial symmetry or asymmetry in this case. Asymmetry of movement occurs with strokes and Bell's palsy. Assessing the patient's sense of taste on the anterior two-thirds of the tongue and testing their ability to whistle are other ways to assess this nerve. So to recap, cranial nerve 5 is known as the trigeminal nerve. This nerve can be evaluated by assessing the temporal and mass eater muscles, then by checking for light touch sensation. Cranial nerve 7 is the facial nerve and can be assessed by noting the mobility and symmetry of the face, taste on the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, and the ability to whistle. Okay, I needed some R&R &R away from these brain stems, so I headed to the far corners of the earth for a break. Assess man, help! My three gems are getting stolen by this five-faced thief! You have got to be kidding me! Okay, I run over to assess the situation. It looks like someone stole the gems from the nearby temple because the massive eater security was eating instead of doing his job. I touch a light bulb to his face to snap him out of it. There you go, now your gems should be safe from thieves. That's when I see Brainstem 7 with a face lotion dispenser. He's giving my wife a facial while she's on the mobile phone, and she's giving him the side eye. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our head-to-toe assessments Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from cognitive abilities assessment, cerebellar assessment, skull, scalp, and hair assessment, head, face, and neck assessment, eye assessment, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research-proven to increase exam scores.